I'm really cozy. Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video. I love to watch these videos because I'm, I guess, nosy about what people are eating. So, I thought I would do one myself. I actually really love to cook. I try to cook at least three times a week um, after work when I get home. I typically follow recipes most of the time. Some of them I just kind of make up on the spot, but a lot of the times I do follow recipes from Delish specifically. That's my favorite place to find good recipes for quick, weekly, easy dinner ideas. I don't eat unhealthy, but I don't eat super healthy either. I'm definitely in a good in-between. Um, during the work week, I try to, like for lunchtime, I'll usually get like kale salads or um, like just healthier sandwiches, like a grilled chicken sandwich or what else do I get? Oh, my co-work and I really love udon, so we'll get udon a lot and it's really good. I get vegetable udon with shrimp shumai in it and it's banging. So I do, I do eat like relatively healthy for lunch at work and then for dinner I try to keep things pretty healthy. Breakfast is kind of most of the time it's just a banana and maybe like a yogurt or a smoothie or some cereal with fruit inside, oatmeal. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do during the week for work. But then on the weekends, I like to make eggs for breakfast or omelets or just maybe we go out for brunch. So it's kind of mixed up a bit during the week. Sorry, during the weekend. And <laughs> Then, I, then again, I do try to take, like, I don't try, I try to, like, not eat meat for lunch most of the time. Because I like to keep a healthy balance. Um, and I actually love vegetables. Asparagus and Brussels sprouts in the oven, roasted with olive oil, sea salt, and pepper. Yeah so good so yeah i love vegetables i love them more than meat to be honest so i guess that works out the lighting sucks today because it's really shitty out so sorry if my lighting is horrible i am new to this after all let's get to it see ya on the flip side i'll take you through breakfast lunch and dinner maybe some snacks if i'm feeling snacks but I just don't snack very much. Okay. Bye bye. So the first thing I try to do when I get up is have some water right away just to get hydrated. So I'll grab my Brita. Our fridge is messy, apologies. And my lemon as well. Can't forget the lemon. And while I'm sipping on my water, I'll also make coffee. I like this brand. Blue Diamond Almond Breeze. I love almond milk in my coffee. Grab our... I'm just gonna grab this one. So for breakfast, I thought I'd make, I got this bread from ShopRite. It's, it's a seven grain bread. It's really soft. So I'm gonna use this. Um, I have some arugula, cherry tomatoes, eggs, and butter. I'm gonna make eggs, like scrambled eggs, Gordon Ramsay style. If you don't know what that is, I will link Gordon's famous scrambled eggs video 
in the description box. Honestly, once you eat eggs like that, you're never gonna go back to eating eggs however you make them. Eggs. And now we're gonna start mixing them up. Am I the only one who loves to just like break the yolk? <laughs> and we've got some butter, about a tablespoon of butter. We just gotta start mixing that up. And this is what your eggs should look like. So kind of fluffy, not too runny. They're so good. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper now. We've got our seven grain bread going in the toaster, though it's really big, so it doesn't really fit. I'm gonna cut up some, I meant to get cherry tomatoes, but I actually got grape tomatoes. Whatever, they're both still really good. I love tomatoes. Gonna cut our avocado. This one feels pretty ripe. It almost feels like it's bad. I'm gonna be so pissed if it's not good. Guys, I'm so mad. Look at this avocado. Now we're going to cut our grape tomatoes in half. So we've got our seven grain bread. I'm going to put on the eggs. This one's a little better, still not that good, but I think today is just not my day with avocado, is it? And here we are. We've got seven grain bread, eggs, scrambled eggs, Gordon Ramsay style, avocado that wasn't in the best shape, but it is what it is. Some grape tomatoes and some arugula. I'm gonna put some olive oil, salt and pepper on the arugula. And that's breakfast. I'm putting some white wine vinegar as well. Just a little splash of it. Yum. All right, I'm gonna go dig in now. See you at lunch. I am now having some tea because look at it outside. I just wanna go to sleep. Sleep all day and just stare out this window with the rain. Here's my tea. It's Earl Grey with some low-fat milk. How cute is this mug, by the way? It's from Target. Hello and welcome to lunchtime. I am gonna have this uh, black bean quinoa veggie burger. I heard these are really good um, by Dr. Prager's, but I've actually never had it, so we will see. I'm gonna have this on a bed of some spinach and then some cut up grape tomatoes and some feta cheese and also probably part of my avocado you know, the one that looked terrible from this morning, the other half. <laughs> and yeah, that'll be lunch. Our quinoa, or black bean quinoa burger is cooking. I think I put way too much olive oil by accident. Whoops. And I added in a few pieces of that really ugly avocado from this morning and we are good to go. So I'm just working on dinner now. I thought I would make basically my version of homemade chipotle. So I started prepping everything because it is a bit of a longer process than breakfast and lunch. So I have a can of black beans in here along with one clove of garlic, half an onion, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of oregano. And um, salt and pepper as well. I'm boiling this for brown rice. And we have some chicken here for my little burrito bowl that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna season my chicken with the McCormick Grillmates um, Montreal chicken seasoning. I 
chopped up some tomato and a little bit of onion. Thanks so much for watching my What I Eat in a Day. I hope this inspired you to cook some good food and I'll see you very soon. Bye.